so good day everyone good day uh, viewers and students okay so today uh, we will continue our discussion about curvilinear motion okay so last um last lesson we have discussed about um the x y and z components or the rectangular components of your curvilinear motion for 2d you have x and y uh, components respectively for 3 for 3d or three-dimensional you have x y and z components respectively okay so today we will be discussing about normal and the, uh, we will um, divide uh, the direction of your motion in normal and tangential components okay so to start with let us um, uh, draw a curved line okay? okay so let us say this is your curved line okay sorry so let us say this is your curved line and you are moving on let us say that this is your initial point and this is your final point in which you are moving you are moving from left to right okay so this is um let us say the path of your motion okay so this is let us say a uh, path of your motion so so this is your start and this is your finish okay so how do we uh, draw your tangential and normal components okay so your tangential components in this um, Uh, in this uh, in this curve is like this okay this is your tangential component okay and this will be um, your normal component here so how do we um, how do we determine if that direction is tangential and you and this direct uh, this direction is normal okay so uh, with regards to path of your motion your ut is uh, parallel to the direction of motion And uh, your normal component is perpendicular So how do we determine, okay? So this is how it is, okay? So when we say ut or the unit um, that corresponds to the, your tangential motion, so it, it is parallel to the direction of your motion. So let us say this is your motion, okay? So you are moving towards from the starting point. So this is, uh, this actually um, represents the slope okay so ut represents the exact slope of this portion of your curve okay so this is ut so therefore your un is in this direction okay so you can use uh let us say a hand method okay so you can use either left or right of your um of your hand okay your right hand or your left hand okay so let us say since you are moving toward that direction, okay? So this will be your ut, okay? And this will be your un, okay? So therefore, you will be traveling like this until such a time that it will shift direction. So, so therefore, um, your un, you will be slowly, okay? Uh, transferring from 
this direction to that direction, okay? So, let us say in this area, okay? So, in, okay, so in, theoretically, in that direction, it will be like this, okay? So, your UN will become zero. But somehow, as you move, uh, your UT and UN also changes, okay? So, in this portion, it will be UT, no? and this will be your UN. And then, at this direction, this will be your UT, and this will be your UN. Okay, please always remember that your UT is perpendicular to your UN, which means your UT, um, okay, please always remember that your UT is perpendicular to UN. So, therefore, if this is your, uh, okay, UT represents the... Um, Okay, so I would like to write in this, your UT, uh, it represents the, since it is parallel to the direction of your motion, so we call it also as, um, what do we call it? It is, uh, represents, okay, okay, instantaneous, okay. Okay, it is parallel to instantaneous direction of motion, okay? Parallel to the instantaneous direction of your motion, okay? So, if this is, uh, we assume that this is the instantaneous direction of your motion, UT, so your UN will be like this. At this point, since uh, the, the direction of your tangential component will change again, okay, it will be like this, until, and then your UN will be like this, or 90 degrees, until such a time, okay, so you ma, okay, such a time that it will shift direction, okay, so there, uh, somewhere, somewhere on your curve, your UN will be valueless, and then there will be such a time that it will change direction, okay, so, for, for example, in this direction, your UT will be like this. Okay? So, therefore, your UN will shift direction. Okay? So, since this is your UT, okay, your UN will be, okay, in this direction. Okay? You use, let us say, ha -ha, a, fing a hand or finger method. Okay? So, if this is the direction of your UT, the direction of your UT is going to that direction, so your UN will be this direction. So, if your UT is going uh, in that direction, your UN will be that direction. So, in this case, your UT is uh, located in this area, so your, uh, your UT is in this area, so your UN will be in this area. So this case it will be here U N okay so until such a time that it reaches this end so your U T here is the instantaneous direction of motion so that is this is your U T and your U N okay U T your U N will be that direction so this is U N and they will be always parallel with each other okay so that is um, your tangential and normal component of your curvilinear motion. Okay? Okay? Okay, so please remember these keywords. When you say UT or the tangential component, we talk about parallel. Parallel to the direction of your motion. Uh, when we say uh, normal component, it is perpendicular to the direction of your motion. Okay? Specifically, the instantaneous direction of your motion, okay? So, your UN here is the same to this, but it is perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular to the, okay? I will just write it only.
So that is how we define the normal and tangential components of your motion. Okay. So therefore, uh, we have uh, no fixed x and y axis. Okay. Just like rectangular component, it's it doesn't it doesn't uh, go with your uh, with a fixed x and y axis. It always goes uh, with the direction of your motion, whether your motion is parallel, okay? Your tangential is the parallel, parallel to your uh, motion, and your normal component is perpendicular to your motion, okay? So, in order that uh, it will make sense, okay? So, I will introduce the formulas, okay? So, I will erase this one. So this will be your um, this will be your formulas. Okay. So let us say um, we'll start with velocity. Okay. So for your velocity, your velocity will be um, okay. Will be uh, v uh, t u t plus V um, N U N okay so in this case uh, your V T uh, your V okay so we are talking here of um, uh, your vector component so in scalar uh, form your V or your velocity will be V T squared plus V N squared But somehow, this take note that your Vn is equal to zero. Okay, so um, in a curvilinear motion, uh, your velocity normal will be equal to zero. Okay, so therefore, uh, your V is equivalent to your Vt. Okay, so this is zero. Okay. So when we talk about uh, the unit, okay, unit of tangent and unit of unit tangential and unit normal, uh, it will be always, okay, ut squared plus un squared is equal, always equal to 1, okay. So this is, uh, uh, it's um, Pythagorean relationship. Okay, so for your acceleration, okay, so this, in this part, actually, class, in the acceleration, at the, um, your acceleration in a vector, it is equivalent to AT, UT, plus AN, UN, okay? So here, your AN and your UT will always have, okay, so it will always have a, um, it will always have values, okay? If there is uh, a fixed radius of curvature, okay? So here, your acceleration will be equivalent to, okay? In scalar form, at squared plus a n squared, okay? Square root, okay? So this will be your uh, your um, total acceleration, okay? Uh, square, okay? Square your um, tangential acceleration, okay? Plus a n squared, okay? And, and the result of a t squared a, and a n squared, uh, you apply the square root, okay? So you will compute your um, acceleration. So this is how we do it. So, so here, okay, so we would, I would like to explain what is AT and this AN, okay? So, let us have another word, okay? Okay, so here, uh, we would try, okay? So, let us say you have... This is your, uh, okay, let's draw a 
an actual situation. Okay, so let us draw an actual situation in which uh, there is a motor vehicle. Okay, um, specifically, uh, let us say uh, you are driving your car uh, and you start in this direction. Uh, you start in this direction. Okay, so this is your initial direction. And then, so therefore, since this is your direction, uh, this will be your normal component. Okay. And then, perpendicular to your motion, I know, it is the tangential component. Okay, sorry. So, when it is um, parallel, okay, so at this is it, parallel to the direction of motion, so it is tangential. And perpendicular to the direction of motion, it is normal, okay? So, your tangential component, a normal component, will be uh, always perpendicular with each other. When we say perpendicular, it always forms 90 degrees with each other, okay? Okay. So, here, it became like this, okay? Okay, sorry. Uh, it would not be, okay, so let us use your hand method, okay? So, this is the direction of your um, tan, uh, tangent, okay? So, therefore, uh, the direction of your motion, of your normal component is into, okay? So, okay. So, your normal component will be always into, okay? So, if this is your curve, so your normal will be like this, okay? And if, if your curve is like this, uh, your tangential uh, component will be like this. Okay? And your normal will be like this. Okay? So, please remember that. So, it, it depends upon the direction of your, um, of your uh, curve. Okay? So, if your curve is going to be like that, so your normal is this. Okay? Tan, uh, tangential normal. Okay, so if this, uh, you travel in this direction, so this is your tangential, this is your normal. Okay, so simple, just use your hand, okay, either left or right, okay. So if this is your, okay, so if this is, if this is the direction of your motion, so this is the normal. And then since this is the direction of your tangential component, so this is the normal, okay? So, that's why when you are driving along the highway, okay, for example, so, uh, if you run too fast, for example, your acceleration, tangential, which is pa parallel to your motion, is big, is large, or let us say, your velocity, okay, we're not speaking, okay, your velocity tangential in that direction is large, okay, it is more likely that your AN will be also large, okay, so your AN here will be also large, okay, so therefore, uh, the more you speed it up, the larger your normal acceleration. It is because uh, your acceleration normal is equivalent to your VT, okay? Your tangential velocity or your actual velocity on the road over rho. Okay? So, this will be, okay? So, this will be a, another formula. Okay? So, therefore, your AN is equal to VT squared over rho. So this is your uh, another formula for this is your formula for normal acceleration. Okay, given that uh, your uh, tangential velocity is uh, known. Okay, so from that, uh, how how will you compute? How will you uh, know the value of your row? Okay, so your row is actually okay. So 
I will erase this again. Okay. So when we say okay, A N is equal to V T squared over rho. Your rho here is okay. Your V is your V T is your velocity. Okay. Actual velocity. Okay. Pa okay. So velocity parallel to the direction of motion. Okay. So in other words, it is your actual velocity. Okay. Remember that your Vn is zero. So the, your V is actually equal to Vt. Okay. So this is always the case. Okay. And please memorize this formula. So this will be uh, your um, uh, your general for formula for your uh, radius of curvature. Okay. So your row. Okay. I explain. So your row is the radius of curvature. So your row is one. Okay, plus d squared, okay, I know, dy over dx squared, okay, quantity to the power of 3 or 3 halves over d squared y over dx squared. Okay, so this is your formula for your, um, Radius of curvature. Okay, so please uh, memorize this formula. Okay, so if you have, if you know the uh, the act, the velocity or your tangential velocity parallel to the direction of motion, which is equivalent to your velocity as a whole, and you know your rho, uh, you can already uh, compute your rho normal acceleration. And if you have compute your normal acceleration and your tangential acceleration is given, you can compute. Huh? Um, your total acceleration okay so these are the formulas that you need uh, to memorize okay this okay this formula this formula this this formula and this formula okay so so uh, we will have an uh, examples Okay, in a separate video. So please um, watch uh, those example videos in order that uh, we can understand uh, these lessons, uh, this topic.